Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Supreme Court victory: Trump's former opponent delivers him a resounding win. It's a good day when Donald Trump's former opponent in the 2016 election decides to support the president in a major decision. It was Senator Rand Paul who stated that he will officially support Trump's Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh. This was decided, apparently, during a meeting that Rand Paul had with Brett last week. Trump's position as the president puts him in the middle of the Democrats and Republicans as any decision he makes is fair grounds for being supported or not. Some Republicans have chosen not to support the president, such as John McCain. Even though Trump ran on the side of the GOP, he still found himself to be a target of many who were supposed to be on his side. Rand Paul was considered a swing vote in just about anything Trump attempted. Paul's support of Kavanaugh is what makes it a win for Trump. Each time the president makes a decision, it's as though he's being watched with a hawk's eyes and then pounced upon at every little mistake. Each president makes mistakes, big or small, but it sometimes seems like Trump's mistakes are exaggerated by mainstream media. That's just my opinion on it, not to be mixed or perceived as a fact. Rand Paul supporting Trump's decision on Kavanaugh is a good thing for Trump. It shows that some people are not afraid to support their president. It's also good that it took some time for Paul to come along. That means Rand Paul may have been weighing his options and thinking about his decision instead of automatically accepting or supporting the decision. It's better for people to put some thought into their own actions before making a supportive announcement of any type. Rand Paul might face some opposition, but that seems to be fair game in the political world these days. After all, isn't facing opposition in politics all part of a day's work? Fox News stated on Paul's decision. I believe he will carefully adhere to the Constitution and will take his job to protect individual liberty seriously," Paul said in a statement. The Kentucky senator was one of the few Republicans considered a possible swing vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation. Senators Susan Collins, Republican Maine, and Lisa Murkowski, Republican Alaska, also are being closely watched. But with Paul voicing clear support, and Collins and Murkowski signaling potential support in recent weeks. Kavanaugh's prospects appear to be improving as GOP leaders aim to engineer a swift confirmation by the fall. In another sign of congressional outreach, Kavanaugh is having his first meeting Monday with a Democratic senator since becoming Trump's high court nominee. He plans to sit down with Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, one of a handful of Democratic senators who could cross the aisle to vote for Kavanaugh as most Democrats line up against him. Paul, meanwhile, has taken issue with Kavanaugh's record supporting the warrantless collection of telephone metadata. I have expressed my concern over Judge Kavanaugh's record on warrantless bulk collection of data and how that might apply to very important privacy cases before the Supreme Court, he said Monday. But he said his vote is not a single-issue decision and voiced confidence in Kavanaugh's record on other issues. My conversation with Judge Kavanaugh reinforces my belief that he will evaluate cases before the Supreme Court from a textual and originalist point of view. Paul said. On issues such as property rights and reigning in the administrative state, Judge Kavanaugh has a strong record and showed a deep commitment during our meeting. Finally, his strong defenses of the First and Second Amendments in landmark cases show someone who isn't afraid to challenge the status quo and will fight with backbone. Judge Kavanaugh will have my support and my vote to confirm him to the Supreme Court. Republicans, with a 51 to 49 majority, have little wiggle room on the Kavanaugh vote. And with Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, outbattling brain cancer, GOP leaders cannot spare a single vote unless they attract Democratic support. The Associated Press contributed to this report. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.